Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So we're still discussing the concept of angle chasing and we've started in the previous video with uh, centers of triangle. In the previous video we, we've discussed the, or the circumcenter and now in this video we'll talk about the incenter. Okay, so let's take a look at our diagram. We've got a triangle ABC and we've got uh, the incenter I. Okay, and we're asked to find the angle BIC, the measure of the angle BIC, just like our previous video. Okay, so first of all, let's discuss the concept of the in circle, of the incenter. What is the definition of the incenter? Well, the definition is very simple. It is the, it is the concurrency point of the three internal angle bisectors. So, the, the internal angle bisector of B and the bisector of C and the bisector of angle A, they all meet at one point, which is I. Okay, so this is simply the in center. And there is also an, another definition of, of it, and that is from its name, in center. So it is the center of the in circle, and the in circle is simply the circle that, uh, that is tangent to the three sides of the triangle. Uh, from the from inside the triangle okay so basically we've got two definitions but we will use the first one because we're dealing with angle chasing and the first definition is the one that uses lots of angles okay great so basically the in center is very beautifully handled with angles because it gives us lots of information using angles so basically from the definition we know that the angle C is bisected, that means that this is C over 2, and this is C over 2, right? The same for B, this is B over 2, and this is B over 2. Okay, great. So now take a look at our angle, our, our triangle, B, I, C. We, know, we, uh, we now uh, want to evaluate the measure of the angle B, I, C. Now this is very simple, because we know the angle I, B, C, and we know the angle I, C, B. So let's simply write that down. So b basically, B I C is simply pi minus B over 2 minus C over 2. Well, we're done because we've found the angle B I C, the measure of this angle, using the angle B and angle C. Well, actually, you can simplify this expression. So let's simplify it and write it in uh, and write it in terms of a. Well, this is very simple. Just take half as a common factor. So one over two as a common factor. This will be b plus c. Well, this is b plus c is simply pi minus a, right? Because a plus b plus c is pi. So simply this is now is pi minus uh, half of pi minus a. And now by expanding, we get that this is simply pi over 2 plus a over 2. Well, now this is a beautiful expression of the angle. So pi over 2 plus a over 2. And for people who like working with degrees, this is simply 90 degrees plus a over 2. Of course, you need to express a in terms of degrees. Okay, so basically now this angle is pi over 2 plus a over 2. Okay, great. And of course, you can apply the same for the angle BIA and for the angle CIA. Just you need to uh, be careful uh, to change a to b and to c. Okay, great. So basically, we've discussed all the angles that are related to the in center. And in the previous video, we've, we've, we've discussed the circumcenter. So in the next video, we'll be uh, discussing the, or the orthocenter and its angles. Okay, so don't forget to like the video and share and subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next video.